Hi everyone, this is Grace Smith with the Wise News Network and your eyes do not deceive you. Today I am here with a very special mythical and traditional guest, also known as Krampus. Krampus, how are you doing today? Fantastic, how are you? I'm doing pretty good myself. Honestly, I'm very excited to get to sit down and interview you today regarding you've been stirring up a little bit of controversy on social media recently. You mind telling me a little bit about that? Yes, actually, uh, beginning with the uh, Lincoln Christmas Parade, Mm -hmm. uh, it seems that a few uh, were upset that we were included in the uh, their Christmas Parade, and uh, I feel a lot of that negativity has come from people that honestly were not at the parade, Mm -hmm. and. Why do you think that this, that your existence and you attending the parade has stirred up so much controversy? Because Krampus is just another Christmas tradition. Absolutely, like anything else. But I think it it is new to a lot of people, and a lot of people just don't understand where the uh, folklore comes from. So they honestly assume that it is uh, just pure evil understandable and for our viewers who might not be familiar with the krampus legend do you mind telling us a little bit about yourself where do you hail from and how kind of did you get your start well it started in the early 1700s in the alpine region of austria and and germany as a counterpart krampus was the foil for saint nicholas now, St. Nicholas would reward the good children with presents, fruit, and Krampus would uh, deal with the bad children with either coal or switches. And I see you might have a switch in your hand. Yes, Is I that, do. I was gonna, I was wondering, does he sweep with it? What does he do with it? Now it makes a little bit more sense. Well, if anybody uh, remembers as a youngster getting hit with by their parents or grandparents with a hickory or birch switch uh it is not a good feeling whatsoever and it was definitely something to get your attention but luckily the north carolina children are so well behaved that you've never had to use it absolutely not the children are fantastic the adults however (laughs) i believe could use this and you mentioned St. Nicholas, also known as Santa Claus these days. Are you good friends with Santa? Absolutely. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm a, a big fan of St. Nicholas and Santa Claus. And I believe he, he does everything uh, good for the good children. Absolutely. And this is an important reminder that with good in everything, there is also the other side and not necessarily good but with light there's dark just like everything in the universe basically and um christmas is no exception is there anything you'd like to add about your time in north carolina and um what's something that you've enjoyed seeing while you've been here i've enjoyed uh just a a lot of the uh excitement and acceptance of uh something new and exciting uh this has been around for thousands and thousands of years as the folklore, uh, but only has gained traction stateside in the past five to ten years. So it's very exciting to see people uh, embrace it and have fun with it. And that's basically what we're trying to do is bring something different and fun uh, to the community. Absolutely. And that's a great reminder to not be afraid to learn about new traditions, learn about new walks of life, new cultures, because although it might seem scary at first, once you get to know it and understand it a little bit more, it's just another interesting thing that you now know. Thank you so much, Krampus, for your time, and I hope you have a good trip back to the European region. He will be back next year, hopefully, if we didn't scare him away.